it is your girl Brie Dupree and here we are in my bathroom um so we've got some developments in the case okay I know in the last video I told y'all the video after that would be a, a vlog of me going to the Machine Gun at Kelly concert so there's good news and there's bad news the good news is I figured out finally at 28 years old how to set up the one cloud or whatever it is to get my videos and photos from my phone to my laptop and so i do have the oh, videos wow, oops. i do have the videos and snippets of um me at the concert because they did not allow professional cameras there um from my phone and everything like that the bad news is the sd card that i was using i recorded the vlog, the hotel room tour. There was a crumble out there before the one by me finally just opened where me and my sister did a taste test. The SD card got corrupt and is also lost. So I have only the three fourths portion of me doing my actual makeup because I filmed a get ready with me and I realized after the first clip and I was playing it back to see if I was recording myself or not that it, my, it got corrupt. Um, so A, if I can find that SD card and B, try to uncorrupt things, I will. Um, uh, it will not be right now. I've cleaned my whole house. I don't know where it is. I don't know if I left it in the hotel room because it was corrupt. It's not in the suitcases I had. I mean, I've checked everywhere, so I don't know. So bummer about that. Um, if I cannot find it within the next couple of weeks in the next vlog I have, maybe I'll just post the random clips that I have on my phone so you guys at least can see like there was a point where I was like this close to MGK like this close it was amazing one of the best times of the year for me honestly so today <laughs> surprise surprise I am doing another type of faux lock I'm not going to record I might record I don't know it depends on how I feel um, and the lighting situation because it's currently like five o'clock and the sun is gonna start setting and stuff so but I am gonna show you guys how I prep my hair for faux locks. I might not show how I actually do my hair because I might be doing this easy method that I've done that I did when I first started doing faux locks, which is where I just literally just use two strands of my hair and then the faux lock as a third strand and braid it and call it a day. Or I'm going to braid it and then if I don't like how it looks, I might just wrap, but I don't know because the faux locks I have are pretty dark at the root they're black at the root and as you can tell my hair is brown um but i don't know if i have one or one b wrapping hair i know i have the color two wrapping hair um but we'll see we'll play it by ear so i'm not sure because if i'm gonna just wrap it around i'm not gonna show you guys because i've done that a million times here on my channel and i'll put it in the eye cards if you guys are interested um so i thought i would show you guys just how i prep my hair so there's two things that I make sure I always do before I um, start blow drying and getting my hair ready um, one of those things is a hot oil treatment and the other thing is a deep conditioner you want to make sure for at least for me I suffer from as I'm getting older it's getting worse this dandruff I have in my hair particularly in this like little four by four section um, it gets real crazy in there um and so the hot oil treatment prolongs my for me my dandruff showing up it's a lot easier to wash dandruff out of my hair like this even though it gets caught caught in my curls so you might see a couple white specks than it is to wash dandruff out of braided faux locked done hair um, so the longer we can prevent that, the easier, you know, my life will be. So I'll show you guys my hot oil treatment concoction. And then I try to deep condition my hair for at least an hour. Um, I don't know what, how far we're going to get to, 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 till today. Um, I might just deep condition it for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes and like work out while I do it. So that way it's kind of like, um, what's it called? you know faster because the heat from my head or I might just stand under I have a um it's like an on the go at home like connector so you connect it to your blow dryer and then it's like a cap so that way I could I mean I could do it like that too but it's so loud and you can't really listen hear anything so I normally don't do that 
but I thought I would show you guys just how I concoct my hot oil treatment. So um, the three main things that I use is olive oil, tea tree oil, and coconut oil. Uh, my coconut oil comes solid, so I'm gonna go melt my coconut oil and then I'll come back and show you what we do. So, like I said, I mainly use three oils now. A lot of times in my house I have different oils. Um, I just finished this Carol's Darter 7 Oil Blend. So sometimes I'll just add whatever other oils I have in my house. So right now all I have is these three oils plus something else we're going to add. So um, I just use, I just been reusing this oil um, applicator bottle because why not? You know, instead of throwing it out, I just like this one's empty, but I'm saving it because you can just put your own oils in here. It doesn't have to be this. So, oh, do I have black castor oil? Because if I did, that would be dope, but I don't think I do. I had black castor oil. So this is what was left over from last time. And as you can see, it's not that much. Now this has lasted me at least four to five times doing a hot oil treatment. And um, I also sometimes will use this as an everyday oil. I use this in my hair today because like I said, this is the only oil I have at the moment. Um, if it's not the only oil I have at the moment like this one, then I'll use whatever the other one is for everyday because this could be a lot um, of buildup on your scalp. And depending on the the percentages or measurements of the concoction this will solidify or it will stay liquidy as you can see this time it stayed liquidy because I had other oils that trumped my coconut oil um, but the last time it solidified so if it does solidify you will have to do um, I take a container of water I put it in the microwave for three minutes and then I just let this sit in there for about a minute and a half and it will melt so here's my coconut oil here that I have um, microwaved i'm just going to attempt to get all of this in the bottle okay so that gave us about a fourth of a bottle oh the, the tea tree oil is so strong i'm literally using olive oil that you just use in your kitchen so i'm not going to use that much olive oil because i only have a little bit left and i need it for cooking promise things but i'm just going to um, pour some oil in here so this is probably going to be a more of a solidified situation after the, the end so this is tea tree oil plus a premium blend it's supposed to be 100% pure oil it's from the Shea Moisture brand it's supposed to be pure oil but there's a lot of uh, ingredients so I don't know but we're going to put some of this in there this stuff is so strong. This is one of the reasons why I don't like to use this as my everyday oil because it is so potent, this tea tree oil. Um, I'm gonna just pour a little bit in here, like so, because like I said, it's really potent. And then I'm gonna just add some of this stuff. I haven't added this in my blend yet. Um, I bought this. I've been trying this out. This is the scalp relief treatment from Derma E. It's supposed to be um, if you have like dry itchy scalp which is what I have. So this also is invigorating. It gives you a tingly sensation. I also have the shampoo which dries my hair out a lot so I only like to use it once a week or once every other week when my hair is when my scalp is like really bad. But I'm just going to pour some of this in here to see if it does anything for us. And it looks like it's not really mixing up. It's at the bottom. So I guess we're going to see how this goes. Shaker, 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 shaker. And now you've got your own at home hot oil treatment. Now I will tell you that I was a shampoo girl in a shop for a couple months. And the hot oil treatments they do there is just pure plain olive oil. So... You won't get all the vitamins and neutral. You won't get all the vitamins and nutrients <laughs> that is in there. Now I'm gonna show you how I get a filey, make my own shower cap and cotton swab. I'll be right back. Okay, so you're gonna need three things, or at least two things. And the two main things you're gonna need, if you don't have a shower cap, a grocery bag. If you don't have cotton swabs, paper towel. Now, even if you have cotton swabs, I still recommend paper towel unless you have 
the cotton swab rounds I mean not swabs that are like super long um, because just the ones you use to like take off nail polish remover will not work with this so I like to use three pieces of paper towel and I'll just get that ready and now I'm literally going to douse my entire scalp and the ends of my hair in this oil now you don't have to do the ends of your hair if you don't want to because remember we are going to be deep conditioning but my ends are super dry and i can just literally pull hair out that's how dry my hair is i need to go to the shop i tried to trim it myself and i messed up my hair immensely i need to go to the shop and get a length check and get a trim but <laughs> the wallet right now is not allowing that to happen so until that happens we're just going to be taking care of the ends i know they need to go i don't care um also i don't recommend you cutting your hair before you do this hairstyle because almost the braked ends will help wrap and hold the lock versus a blunt end if you've ever braided your hair and you just cut your hair you know exactly what i'm talking about if you're not using a rubber band how it stays like that so what i normally do is just a couple lines on each side focusing in the front and you'll be able to feel don't mind I've got like deodorant collecting <laughs> and um, then I go the opposite way so I go front to back and then I go left to right and then I focus a lot in the center because I get a lot of breakage in the center and then we're just gonna go down like this and try to go back and forth as well and you want to use at least half of so you want to go and like like i said this lasts me like four at least four of them so here's the bottle so you want to use like at least one fourth of the situation you you don't want it I mean it's gonna be dripping down no matter what I like to get my hairline especially right here um, the last full locks I had I made them so tight and I accidentally like ripped hair out right there so and so that's why I kind of go around the perimeter and then how I get my ends is I just hold my hand like this and then squeeze like that and that's sort of how I do it I'm not worrying about dousing every single end but you want to get just a few pieces I gotta say my hair right now is at a length where I actually I'm starting to like my hair like I never disliked my hair per se like I said, like you guys have known, I trimmed all my hair off a year and a half, two years almost now. Um, and this is the first time that I've grown my hair out where I haven't put any dye in it, any chemical in it. Because the last time I started just dyeing my hair, you guys know if you follow me for a while that I used to dye my hair all types of colors. Um, and so my hair is really healthy. It's got some shake to it now, you know, and it's... It's kind of a vibe. It's kind of a movement. I'm kind of here for it. I'm liking the color that it's not so dark and it's not too light. When I was blonde, it really washed me out unless I um, did makeup. So you have like these really tan with the blonde. So I'm sort of I'm glad that's not working out. So now what I'm doing is I'm just going to take my fingers and try to massage that because essentially the goal is to cover your entire scalp with the oil right so i'm just going to massage it in okay now that you're covered in oil sort of just try to rub that wherever you can i got a hair shirt here i'm just gonna rub it off on my hair shirt all right so now we're gonna take our bag or our shower cap and now we're gonna put it over our head. The smell should be burning your eyes and tingling your scalp by now. If not, 
maybe add some more stuff. <laughs> now, you can just rip this and tie it in a knot. Um, but I'm gonna be doing some things around the house. And I find that when I do that, it doesn't stay as well. Um, now, if you're not gonna be sitting under a blow dryer, if you're gonna be doing things around the house like myself, this here is going to help soak up the oil that's going to be coming down. As you can see, it's already dripping down my forehead. So what I do with this, I fold it. What is it called? Hot dog style? Remember that when you say that? Folded hot dog style, okay? And I put one on this side. I put one on the other side. And then I put one in the back. So that's why I use three pieces. Now if you have a smaller head than me, or if you just feel like you need more or less, obviously do whatever you want to do. This is just what I do. And I'm going to tell you this, even though you're doing this, you're still going to get some spillage because that's just the way the cookie crumbles. But it should look something like this. Now, like I said, you want to keep this in your head a minimum, minimum, if you're on a tight schedule, a minimum of 20 to 30 minutes. What I like to do sometimes is I'll put a hat or a bandana on over this. I'll clean the house, I'll work out, I'll do things that I'm, or like walk the dog, physical activities that are gonna already like get you a little hot and I'll keep it on for like an hour while I'm doing that. So what I'm gonna do is put a hat on. Um, I'm gonna take my makeup off, which I've been doing no foundation and I feel like I'm very like natural. I mean, this is at the end of me working an eight hour shift, so it doesn't look as good as it did this morning, but I've been using that Becca Zero Pigment Foundation that they came out with a while ago um, and just putting that on with just bronzer and highlighter, sometimes some blush and just like doing bronzer and mascara and brows. I'm like, that's it. And it's been like working out for me, at least to make me a, a little bit presentable at my job. Um, I work in a restaurant, so I don't like to do full foundation sometimes because sometimes I'm because I'm a manager. Sometimes I have to help out in the kitchen and it gets really hot in there. So, but yeah, I'm going to do this for an hour or so. And then I will come back and show you guys how I decondition. So do you want to hear a funny story? Um, still hot oil treatment. We're on hour two. I'm about to take a shower. I'm just so tired. It's only eight o'clock. Um, <laughs> while I was walking my dog just now, my Alta package actually arrived early. So this is the hair mask I was talking about that I bought during the Alta fall haul. Um, not your mother's brand. It was either not your mother's brand or like curly hair stuff was on sale. I like the not your mother's brand. Um, I use the all eyes in on me 10 and one whatever hair perfect perfecter i use this as leaving treatment as well as um heat protectant but the curl tart what their curl talk line is where it's at um i love this mask i also love the leave-in conditioner spray i'm gonna go rinse this out this is what i was talking about when i said to put a hat on look it says holidays <laughs> holidays <laughs> i'm a jokester anyways i'll be back yes we are and give it a couple of minutes to get me in the program okay so always no matter what your hair type is what your hair texture is i recommend everybody Use a t-shirt to dry their hair, okay? Reduces breakage, reduces frizz, and you don't get hair all over yourself when you dry off your body because it's not like you use the same one for your towel. So what I did was I took a longer shower. I like shaved, you know, I did the extensive stuff. So I just did my hair mask in the shower because it's like nine o'clock. And I'm super tired. I got up today at five o'clock in the morning for work. 
So I'm exhausted. Um, tomorrow, I don't have to go and work until three though, so I have some time. So what I'm gonna do tonight um, is I'm just gonna put in the regular stuff that I put in my hair along with a moisturizer. And I'm just gonna show you guys what that looks like. So since my package came, we're gonna use this as well. So this is the leave-in conditioner I was telling you guys that I use. So I'm first going to spray my hair. Let me unlock it. Which way is it to unlock? With this. I like the sprays. They used to have a shine spray, which I guess I just stopped making because I cannot find it for the life of me. But I've since found other like oil sprays. But back in the day when my hair was colored and super damaged and would get frizzy super easy. Right now it's frizzy because I like kind of was messing with it. Um, and I knew like, so when I comb my hair in a shower, I comb it the way I wear it. So normally I comb all of this to the front, but since I didn't care, I like combed it all over the place and was trying to get away all of the loose stuff. So my hair right now looks a little crazy. It normally doesn't look like this after shower. <laughs> also, I had that towel on for quite a while. So anyways, I'm just going to spray some of this leave-in conditioner. Now this helps the tangle. It protects against UV rays. It's supposed to minimize or reduce the amount of frizz, add shine, heat protectant, all of that is listed on the back. And I actually prefer sprays for hair because I just feel like my hands, you're gonna get a big concentrated clump here and then residuals here, whereas a spray will get it everywhere. I'm gonna go with another spray, the All Eyes On Me one that I told you guys about. Um, just, cause I don't really care because you want to like it's heavily moisturized so it doesn't matter if your hair is going to end up looking super greasy or heavy with product because it's going to be put up right so you want to last a long time um i'm gonna go in with the derma e scalp treatment and this also has tea tree oil it's got tea tree oil aloe vera what it's got tea tree oil aloe vera and herbal blends so what I like about this is it's like a little tilted applicator and it's a dropper. So you literally, I try to get as much product as I can. And I really just focus it um, up here in the front and then I just do one in the middle because those that's like my problem area, but mainly it's the front area. And you should feel this it will tingle your scalp a little bit. For some people though, if you're a sensitive scalp, it might be a little too strong for you. Cause at first I was like, whoa. Okay, then, so a lot of times I would also go in with um, a curl cream and a, well, I guess we can do this one, the curl leave-in conditioner. I'll go in with this one. You want to put in all of your leave-in conditioners first and then go in with your moisturizers and hair oil. Scalp oil is fine because it's not like it's touching your scalp. And again, usually when I'm doing this, I'm scrunching like this, but because I know I'm going to blow dry my hair, honestly, doing it this way helps relax the curl a little bit more. Look at this. Look at that growth. I used to never be, I could never do that before. The growth is really, you guys. Okay, and then the start of the show, what I love the most is this. Now, I can't guarantee that this is cruelty-free. I've had this for quite some time. And I don't think the ORS brand is cruelty-free, which is why I stopped buying from it. But I just have a little bit left of this. This is the ORS Hair Repair Coconut Oil and Baobab Anti-Breakage Conditioning Cream. So it's just a moisturizing cream. Use any moisturizing cream you have. I literally have a little bit left because I normally don't put this in my hair every day. I normally just save this for when I'm doing um, protective styles. So, and as you can see, I only use that much. So like this will last me like two or three more protective styles. And then I will find one that is cruelty free. If you guys don't know, I try my hardest to use cruelty free products. Um, I own several pets, one of them including being a rabbit and um, I just feel it's a little bit hypocritical of me to be a rabbit owner and then using products that test on my rab my rabbit's friends. Like, you know what I mean? So the other day I did something and it was like an accidental part, but I didn't mean to do it, but it was like 
it was like something like I was like what is that it was like this or something and I was like oh I should see if it'll dry like that it wasn't that though it was something weird but whatever and my hair will have a little bit of a white cast now normally um if I'm like getting Chester Chester got got underneath the bathroom cabinet Chester get out of there have you guys seen Chester lately he just turned a year old last week look at this little guy we've had you for a year babe oh you're like a oh, baby okay go ahead go do what you're gonna do okay so like I was saying sometimes it's a little bit of a white cast um and usually I would just take my t-shirt and scrunch and it would get rid of the white cast but since we're not wearing our hair like this. As it dries, the white cast will go away. It will dissipate. Um, so I'm just going to leave it like this. Honestly, the, the, I don't want to like send you guys off, but if it's a little bit of a white cast, it's actually, honestly, in my opinion, a better thing if you're not blow drying your hair right away because it really allows the time for your cuticle to seal with all the moisturizer that's on top of it. Um, and once your hair reaches the regular color that it is, because it's not like this white cast stays on for forever. Do you see what's going on? Like, what is happening with my hair? Um, anyways, once it's gone, you kind of know like your hair has fully absorbed all of the moisture that you've put into it. So, um, I honestly don't mind, especially when I'm doing protective styles so I'm just going to hang out I'm not going to lay down I recommend if your hair type is like mine which around this point I don't know what I have 4c something like that um I don't recommend laying down when your hair is like this because it will and the shrinkage is real tomorrow all I'm going to do is take a spray bottle and just wet my hair um like 20 percent 30 percent and then I'll just blow dry it out um so less work honestly so that's it. Uh, that's it for this video. If I decide to show you guys how I do my dreads or my faux locks, um, it will probably be in a separate video. So, anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure that you take care of your hair, take care of yourself, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.